morning. How are you? It's so nice of you to be with me today. There's a song that I've sung to my kids forever. Anyways, I'm in the studio this morning. Um, I have about an hour before I actually start seeing heroes running around. I'm here just to prep. We are gonna do a cup stacking challenge today. It's gonna be awesome. I'm trying to do team building activities as much as possible, make our building the tribe session very interactive and engaging and fun and team building. So today we're gonna do a cup stacking challenge. I'm gonna split the heroes into teams and then I just got solo cups and their challenge is going to be to build a pyramid. I'm gonna see if their fine motor skills are good enough to use one finger. So in the past when I've done this um, challenge, they have to, like if this is the cup and it's down, one hero can only use a finger at a time. If this is the cup and this is a student and this is a student, they can only use one finger to each to move the cup and then they have to stack it. Not sure that their fine motor skills are developed enough to do that. So it might just actually be them stacking the cups. They just need to stack the cups like this and make a pyramid. Okay, and then we're just gonna keep um, continuing to talk about our guardrails. So we start our morning session off. We go over the four guardrails, which are basically the promises that we have with one another. Our four guardrails are, I will not hurt anyone emotionally or physically. I will not distract. I will respect our studio, which is the classroom, the building, the park, and everyone in it. I will make things right when I've done something wrong. As we start this session, because I teach at a year round school now, we have sessions. So we have like six to seven weeks on, a couple weeks off, six to seven weeks on, a couple weeks off. Each session is themed differently. So this first session is our kickoff for the school year. And we are theming it. It's themed all about building the tribe in your classroom community. And so I'm just trying to develop relationships, introduce people to one another. I've started um, the social emotional learning curriculum from Diane Alber. I'm gonna talk about it every video, probably just because it is seriously amazing, but she has little spot of feelings um, and she talks about social emotional learning. So I have her curriculum here. It is incredible. I will link it down below. It is amazing. And so anyways, I've basically, we're doing social emotional learning, building our tribe with a bunch of activities. We're learning practical life skills like manners and how to be a kind friend. And that's kind of tied in with our social emotional learning. And then introducing the idea of core. So core is, you know, our math and language, those skills that they need to be able to be successful in the next studio. So my job as a guide is to get them prepared for the next studio and before they can bump up to the next studio. They have to prove proficient in a lot of different areas. And there isn't a lot of like teaching things here that don't matter, so which I really appreciate that. So anyways, we still have standards and stuff that we follow, but um, it is a little bit different than traditional school. I'm going to work on, see this schedule right here? And then today, one of the jobs is for the timekeeper to move the little arrow, it's a little magnetic arrow, on the correct part of the schedule. I took pictures of our clock and then I just moved it every 15 minutes. So I need to create that on my computer, print those out and laminate them. We went over jobs yesterday, so our helping hands. Um, and then I'm gonna listen to music while I get ready. I'm gonna take you along as I work this morning and then heroes will start coming. guys okay so long day it's the end of the day now i got a couple snippets of the heroes throughout the day so you, that's what you just saw just doing a couple activities in the studio i always love to set up activities that are basically an invitation for play 
but learning through play. There's just studies that show that there's so much opportunity to learn, not only from peers, but just by hands-on activities. And so this morning I had, you can kind of see in the back, um, a tree set up for the heroes and I just put glue on a bunch of leaves down and then they just glued the leaves on the tree. They loved it. And basically the heroes needed to just work together with their team to stack as many cups as possible without knocking down the cups. It was so challenging. There were so many learning opportunities for social emotional learning. There were opportunities that heroes took advantage of encouraging one another, which is really rad. And then just the opportunity to fail. Like sometimes we just need that opportunity. To, you know, we need to learn how to win well and we need to learn how to lose well. And so it was just a great team building exercise. So that's it. That's all I've got for you today. I did get a few extra things set out. Actually, let me show you this really quick. So each hero has like a checklist for the day. We have not rolled these out yet, but basically when we do our core time and we have different times in the day that we do core, which is our English language arts and math, this activity will help her. So she would trace her name. And so when she does her core work, she would trace her name. And then when she can prove that she can write her name all by herself without any help, then she would earn her name badge. And then there are numbers and uppercase letters on that. And then at the bottom, is where they would check off math, language, and art for the day. So their goal is to get through all of the subjects, math, language, and art during core time. And then if they get through that, then they would put a sticker on a sticker chart. And if they get 20 stickers by the end of the session, then they get a hero buck, which is over in our hero bank. So um, I haven't rolled that out yet. We did prep that and get that ready for today. And um, I think that that is gonna be something probably next week that we'll start to roll out. Right now, I'm really just focusing on classroom community and tribe building, and then also social emotional learning and practical life skills. So just really helping them get set up for success and learn how to regulate their emotions, help them be self-aware and socially aware, helping them with things like manners and just practical life skills that they're going to need to know to be able to be successful um, in life but also in the studio that's all i've got for you today if you are new to the channel welcome my name is elizabeth and i am a tk through first grade guide or teacher i guess you could say at a school here in california and i'm excited that you have joined the family hit that subscribe button like this video comment down below with your favorite part or your thoughts on today's video and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys. See ya.